When I ran through the demo for the Slack connector, I said you just needed to put a token uh, into the config file here. Now, if you've never created a token before, that might trip you up a bit. So I'll quickly run through how I created a token to show you how to do it. So starting point, go to api.slack.com slash apps, and you want to create a new app. Um, you can start from scratch because we don't need a lot of config to get this working. Give your app a name. I'm going to go with Kafka Connect and pick a workspace where you want it to run in. Now, if you're using a corporate Slack workspace, you probably won't have permission uh, to add your Kafka Connect connector to it. So what I'd recommend is create yourself a new free Slack workspace that you can use for development and then hit create app. Now you don't need a lot of permissions because our connector is only going to be posting messages into a channel. So if you scroll down to permissions uh, and click on that, and then scroll down to the bot token scopes. And this is where you're gonna specify what permissions you want to give to your app. So click on add an OAuth scope and it's uh, chat right. Now I went with chat right customize because that meant that um, the connect would have permission to give itself that Kafka icon as its avatar and to set its name. So click on add scopes and those are the permissions it needs. The last thing to do is to click on install to workspace. You'll need to confirm um, that you want to give it permission to do stuff in your Slack workspace and click allow. And this is the token that you need. So I'm going to click on copy, go across to here and paste it in there. Now, before we start running it, we do need to add um, the app into our channel. Just like with a user, it needs to be added to a channel before it can start posting in the channel. So I'm going to go back to Slack, uh, go to the app here, and I can click on there and add this app to a channel. And I'm going to use that same demo channel you saw me use before. So if I go back to the demo channel, you can see here I've, I've added my new app. So let's give that a go. So I'm going to start the connector running again. And I'm going to start sending messages to the topic that the connector is using. Hello again, I'm using a new Slack token. If I switch to Slack, you can see that's posted. So there's a few steps involved, but hopefully you can see it's pretty easy uh, to create yourself a Slack token so you can try this connector out for yourself.